Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Dinners I Ate This Week. Is that what I'm going to call the video? I just thought it'd be a nice idea to show you the meals that I say I'm going to cook on my food shop haul and what I actually realistically have for dinner every night because sometimes it's questionable. No, no! Sign up! It's a mix of vegetarian and meat meals. I guess a couple of them would be vegan. I don't know, but there's a variety. Enjoy your right, darlings. My top is perfect for tonight's meal. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it is a cereal dinner. This is the fifth meal I'm having, but the first meal you're seeing. So stay with me, okay? I promise you there's recipes, there's everything coming up. One thing I can't promise you is that my, I don't, I don't look much better than this, this whole video. Would this even be my video if I didn't have at least one cereal meal? It wouldn't. It just wouldn't be right. It actually feels wrong not to. I had Wheatabix this morning, so... I'm gonna go for the Maltese. Look at me and my cereal top and my cereal bowl. Comment below, cereal at night or cereal in the morning, what's better? I think cereal at night, you know. It's so good, it's so good, it's so good. <laughs> Whoops, I might have tripped and fell into the pantry and ended up with a little topper. Sorry, not sorry. Tonight's meal, I'm using the Jamie Oliver Seven Ways and I'm going to be making this one mainly because have I defrosted anything? No. How good does that look? I've never made this before. So here is the recipe if you want to make it as well. Screenshot. I've done a pretty good job. It tastes so good. Obviously, I haven't eaten it all yet. But one thing I will say is, Jamie Oliver, sort out your timings. That did not take, what, 30 minutes? The sweet potato took way longer than that. Ignore the state of me, but I literally just was so excited to eat it that I didn't explain that it's so full of flavour. It is so good, and I've just finished it, and it's really, really, really filling. 10 out of 10 recommend. Tonight's dinner is one you've probably seen me make a million times. And I've got this recipe from TikTok. I actually think it's better than the, do you know when it was going around that feta cheese pasta one? I actually think it's much nicer than that. It's got more flavor. I really recommend this. It's actually one of my favorite meals. I haven't had it in a while, believe it or not. Might even add a little bit more cheese. This little hack I learned on Instagram. Instead of grating with this one, grate with the little one. And oh, there's a photo where the amount of grams, oh my god, I'm not explaining this well. Also, this meal is so quick to make, so it's really good if you can't be bothered to cook, but you want a nice meal. So tonight, I was like, oh my god, I need to cook something for my cookbook, it needs to be something really exciting. And then I was like, no, the whole point of doing this video was so it was realistic. Realistically, I can film one of these again. So tonight, I'm having one of my favourites, which is basically sweet potato wedgies with loads of veg on top and some cheese. <laughs> so as you saw, I've cut some sweet potatoes, some veggies, I'm going to put some frozen onions in there as well. I'm not that hungry but I also know I need to eat because otherwise I'll just be snacking. cheese is all the veg and the sweet potatoes oh my god this is so basic but so nice and then of course i'm gonna have it with garlic sauce anyway i'm starving ciao for now how nice do these look so these two are my sisters. I'm very boring. I added sun-dried tomato little dollops 
on this one. And then I just I just love cheese and tomato because I love cheese. And I feel like when you add other stuff, you can't taste the cheese as much. Those look way more exciting though. They're so quick and easy to make. And then I will have this as well. This is also a really good meal for when you don't want the same thing because you can literally put whatever you want on pizza. Using the pitta, it feels actually like a base. It's not really flimsy. Saturday, Saturday. Saturday, what is this? Am I going out for a meal? Am I doing something exciting? No, I can't bother to cook. I've been Googling anti-wrinkle pads for your chest because I sleep on my side. Turns out there's this whole cushion you can buy. What has my life come to? I don't know. But uh, yeah, I can't bother to cook tonight, but I'm gonna because I defrosted two chicken breasts and I refuse to leave them in the fridge, wait until they cooked, only to end up in the bin. I'm thinking halloumi, I'm thinking homemade tzatziki, I'm thinking veg. <gasps> Should I use the chickpeas that never get used? Oh, how do you think go away? Mm. I know it's so itchy. <laughs> Does anyone else literally just wing every meal they make? I don't even know what this is. Just chuck a load of veg in. How cute is my little pot of tzatziki? Oh, Happy with that? I'm eating a cookie whilst making dinner. I don't know why either. Good. This doesn't do it justice, but oh my god, it's so good. The chicken is mm. got some halloumi, my little vegetable mix. The chicken, um, I'll put on the screen what spices I use. Am I having a laugh? Did I think I was going to remember that? I don't remember, but it looks kind of orange, so I'm going to go for paprika. Um, some sort of spice, Cajun seasoning, garlic, obviously. I don't know. And then my tzatziki. Oh, yeah. I've just realised I've got to end the video looking like this. To be fair, I think this whole video I'm just going to look like an absolute state. It is what it is. And now that we're done with pointless information you didn't need, here is what I'm having for dinner. I can't be bothered as well. I just thought I'd let it let in there. Okay. So tonight I'm going to be having cod with some mashed potatoes and vegetables and i've never tried this one before so it's two cod fillets in parsley sauce i used to get the aldi cod fillets in parsley sauce and it was so good so this is the sainsbury's one hopefully this is as good as the aldi one <laughs> looks like i'm having a microwave now it's not even cooked yet but it looks so good this is the first bit of fish i'm having since watching sea spiracy Probably shouldn't maybe think about that too much because it might put me off, but it looks really good. You're probably wondering what the hell is this girl doing, but this is the way I mash now. If you watched my me versus a master chef this is how he said to mash it and it is actually the best way it makes it so creamy and now i can't go back i don't even think i own a masher anymore i do need to buy one though because i do like to give it a little mash afterwards and this sometimes gets a bit tiring but it's it's a really good way of doing it if you love mash you'll love this look at that it just comes through the bottom Here is my Sunday dinner. Not quite a Sunday roast. I usually go to my dad's for that, but I'm not there, so I'm not making myself one. Although I have done that in the past, made a roast just for me. Oh, and as usual, leftovers for lunch, maybe. I can confirm this tastes exactly like the Aldi one. Oh my God, it tastes so good. I've missed this. Obviously, I could just go to Aldi and get it, but I don't really go to Aldi that often. Just had a sea spiracy flashback. Try not to think about it. Still enjoying it though, not gonna lie. E e Nordy. Forgot to end the video, didn't I? Oh my god, it looks like I'm naked. I'm not. <laughs> if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know if you'd want to see another one of these videos. Maybe I could do one every time I do a food shop haul or something. That is everything. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you in my next one. See you later, bitches.